Hey guys, I'm Shannon Smith from Canada, and as you guys may know, it's my birthday on Saturday, so it may not be doing on my Star Wars Talk Friday thing, maybe early in the morning tomorrow, since, like, I'm gonna go get a manicure, and my eyebrows waxed, and then go out to dinner with the family. So I may as well, um, like, describe to you guys what I kind of want to see in Solo, even though it, I think it's already out. Like, it just came back. Comes out this Friday, I believe tomorrow so I may as well just like go into some of it some of these may be spoilers I guess because like there's been rumors online that a certain droid is not in the movie but it didn't mention about um the other droid or there's apparently supposed to be um a character that we know of in the movie but it's not Vader apparently so yeah I'm just gonna like break down a few of those things like what I want to see and then I'll probably do a review on Saturday since me and my friend are going to go out for a birthday thingy and she kind of hinted maybe solo like pre-bought her ticket or the ticket like a couple of weeks ago or whatever or if not then I'll um, do it on Tuesday or Wednesday for you guys since like I got like 5,000 sim points, so I'll definitely go through the empty box for you guys and then give you guys my thoughts or whatever. And then an official um, breakdown or what I liked about it type thingy. Eventually later on, maybe as soon as like this film comes to DVD or something, so you guys will have enough time to watch it. But this is hopefully going to be like um, a five minute video. <clears throat> so let's just basically um, get into it. <clears throat> what I kind of want to see really badly is the life deck that's been like the most talked about thing in all of Star Wars history maybe even um the dice the Sabacc game I believe it was since I think they've been in every Star Wars movie except for Rogue One obviously because Han Solo wasn't in it even though there was um, a rumored cameo by a young young actor but yeah, plus that's even, I believe, why they casted Alden um, beforehand. Alden Aaron right your new Han Solo, obviously. Because, like, they wanted him to have a cameo, but I don't think that ever happened. Like, nobody mentioned him, unless he was just um, walking around in um, an Imperial outfit or something. Which, I kind of think, if... This leads me into one of my other thoughts, but I kind of think if Darth Vader is in the movie... Maybe he, like, um, what I just said, basically, Han Solo walking down the Millennium Falcon, dressed as an Imperial or a Stormtrooper, sort of, like, pulling, like, a fin or something, rather. Then maybe we can see him, maybe Lando or, or something as well. Since a bunch of people out there, I believe, still think, um, also that Finn is related to Lando... Who knows, maybe Poe's related to somebody as well that we know of since there's rumors going on still uh, that Kylo Ren could be telling a lie, the lie about him or his parentage. But I really have no clue up to this point. Like, is it somebody that we know of, you guys? Because it wouldn't make sense, I don't think, for Han and Kira to be the parents. Like, the timeline doesn't seem right. Unless, like, it's in the sequel or number three or whatever. And I'll probably go into kind of what I want to see um, after that as well. <clears throat> I'll probably do, like, a ten-minute video. It's, like, three minutes on my iPad or whatever. And then maybe I'll, I'll go live on Facebook later, on here later, too, since I'm, like, quite bored and everything. But... Could we also, like, see any characters that we know of since it's hinted kind of in the teaser trailer and I believe in the official trailer and TV spots, we could see Boba Fett. I think it's um, a possibility, especially, like, if Vader is involved, like, hinted at that. Or what me and one of my friends from Star Wars News Net, an official Star Wars source, we... Me and my friend Kyle Larson, we think, I say this numerous times, but since I'm doing basically what I think, we think Kira will hint or mention a certain job of the hut, or maybe a hut, because I think I read somewhere that there was a bunch of huts, not just Jabba, so him or one of the other huts. 
as well in the canon book because I'm starting to like read canon so keep in mind guys maybe if I read them or buy another Star Wars novel I'll like basically give you guys a breakdown or something and add that to like another segment instead of just doing like a 10 minute or whatever Star Wars talk Thursday Friday thingy and I'll probably do like another Star Wars talk Friday thing tomorrow as Jedi Council is going live at 5 p.m. and I kind of want to do something like that as well so if anybody um has Skype or Instagram hit me up I'm smitty1993.4 and I'll probably like, do a post on this in the um, Twitter like we can like, do like a podcast or a Skype type thingy like you know <clears throat> we can like discuss anything Star Wars or even like take your questions or whatever but back to it like, is Kira gonna die, you guys? Because, as far as we know, she hasn't been mentioned in any of the movies. Like, Han never mentioned he has a girlfriend, a wife or nothing, when you meet him in The New Hope. Or anything, rather. Like, he doesn't have a name tag or something on him or anywhere. As far as we know, because, like, nobody has seen this movie yet, as far as I know, except unless some people at Khan did. So maybe there's like something of a little memoriam, like sort of like what the dice were. Maybe there was like a name tag or something up there on the cockpit, obviously, saying Kira. Because obviously there was a speeder that possibly belonged to her. Since if you guys remember in the last, in um, The Force Awakens, somebody pointed out and screenshotted it to somebody at Collider that there's a speeder that was on Jakku in the junkyard, obviously, that says... Kira. So, plus it was like around where her the Falcon was too. So I guess that's probably a keepsake, because maybe she's um dead, or maybe Kira is hiding in this, because like she'll probably be about the same age as Han, you would think, because like this film probably starts off with them as little kids somehow, like two young upcoming actors. Um, just like running around playing with stormtrooper dolls or something like do they exist in this movie but yeah and then like it skips to like 10 years later or whenever and like with the shots of him in the speeders with Kira or maybe like 20 years later since Alden looks about 20 but I think he's supposed to be like his character is supposed to be like in the teens since this is roughly about I think about 10 years before New Hope. So don't expect, I don't think we'll see like any of the major, major characters that we know of. Like, you know, no Luke Skywalker, like he's probably not born yet during this time. Since I don't recall of like how many years between after Revenge of the Sith, this is supposed to be maybe 10 years or something. Because nobody um, knows exactly, I don't think, of how old Han Solo is. Um, Leia's probably a little baby too, if you were to think that. So it's like, yeah. like nobody knows of how old um, Leia slash Carrie Fisher is in the movie. Like, she's probably in like her early 20s or something when you get to meet her in A New Hope. So maybe she's like a 10 year old in Solo. Because like I said, when Chewbacca, Chewbacca, Lando is Lando. Maybe, um, I don't even know what I was saying. Maybe we'll see some of the droids as well. I don't think we'll see Obi-Wan Kenobi. Unless we do, like, Ewan McGregor has always talked about being back, but there's rumors going on. Maybe sometime soon they'll confirm it that Obi-Wan Kenobi is going to come, which I'm pretty sure I'll um, develop deeper thoughts on or um, storyline type thingy. If I go and, like, find a Kenobi, but just, like, jot down some points or whatever, you know, like, what I would like to see. What I wouldn't like to see or um, catch up on Clone Wars anime series. But I kind of think that one of the droids or two of them maybe will be in it. Especially if you think about Vader on Leia's ship. But their memories are raised. Oh yeah, never mind. Because like, you probably couldn't tell from Vader's perspective. Like his... Um, artificial respirator or whatever you want to call it um voice because remember i don't think the droids even knew that 
Vader was dead slash Anakin Skywalker, obviously. <clears throat> Plus, um, there's rumors to be like a Lando Star Wars story, which would probably be perfect because I think Donald Glover is supposed to be the standout in this movie, including um, Junius Suto Suotomo. Hope I'm saying his name right. Um, the guy that plays Chewbacca now, since Peter Mayhew is like in his seventies, eighties, maybe. But so maybe we could see Han obviously in that, especially like if it were to be between sort of like what um John Favreau is doing between six and seven, because nobody knows what happened to Lando. So maybe like it would give a few little hints slash thoughts on that. Especially, like, so if you guys have seen The Last Jedi, Leia uses the call sign to call for backup for the Resistance, but nobody shows up or answers the call. Plus, we don't know if um, Lando was on one of those planets, like, was one of those planets Cloud City that <laughs> Kylo Ren blew up in number seven. But, yeah. Eh? Okay, like, why wouldn't he, unless he is already on the planet and, like, he has Force sensibilities or something? I don't know. Because it never showed him really being Force sensitive at all. Obviously, Finn's not Force sensitive, but I kind of think, the more I think about it, that maybe um, Lando and Finn are related by blood, obviously. Like, maybe we'll have um, some kind of a reunion in Episode 8. Nine. Maybe even he doesn't know about Han's death since obviously Luke didn't know. Like when the opening scenes is like, where's Han? But I kind of think Mark Hamill will be back in a way like Ray episode 9. And when that teaser trailer hits or something, I'm pretty sure I'll delve into it deeper. Especially like if I notice anything or hear any certain voices. Or anything, because I think we're gonna see Obi Wan Kenobi, whether or not, because it doesn't make sense, you guys. <clears throat> if you guys were to um really watch um The Force Awakens and then The Last Jedi, you can hear everybody from his race Forest Vision has basically been mentioned or discovered. Like you got to see basically what happened through flashbacks for for um. The Last Jedi that was kind of shown in the vision in number seven. You got to meet Luke. I think Yoda was meant Yoda's voice was heard as well. But no Obi Wan. Which kind of begs me to think either we're gonna see the standalone soon or maybe even he has a connection. Cause apparently they let John Boyega do his American accent or something because his other accent sounded terrible or something but they let Daisy Ridley keep her accent so maybe she's related to um Ewan McGregor or Alec and Nessie Newborn you call it version of Obi-Wan Kenobi and he's about like the right age right now too like, they could probably do like some sort of a CGI or makeup on him to make him look like Alec Guinness even though if you like see pictures of them like side by side you can actually like basically tell that they are the same guy. Like, maybe when Ewan McGregor is, like, in his 60s or something, he'll probably look as much like Alec Guinness. Like, somebody, um, John Campy, I believe, did something like that. Or, um, a graphic artist. But, yeah, so please, like, comment, and subscribe, guys. And I'll be back maybe tomorrow with some, like, Star Wars news or whatever. Like, what we're gonna see at, um, pardon me. Well, we're going to see a Star Celebration, which I'm not going to go to. So maybe if I can, I'll try streaming the celebration for you guys from, like, my phone or whatever. Or just, like, be on my phone and then stream it from here. <clears throat> and then we'll, like, you know, go through it or whatever. And then, like, yeah. And maybe, like, before it starts or something for a celebration... I'll probably be like, so what do you guys think is going to happen type thingy. But, like, I'll probably only do, like, the main, main ones. Like, I'm not interested that much in um, the reading, like, canon and stuff. But I'll probably go through, like, the movie or day one, two type thing. Because we're probably bound to see 
a teaser or something. Maybe the official trailer for episode 9. Uh, maybe even in, sort of like what Ryan did last year. The poster for The Last Jedi. Except the poster for episode 9. Maybe in um, day 1. I don't know exactly. But we'll probably either get the hugest panel ever. Or one of the greatest surprises ever. Like I think oh, you and McGregor and Cream. You and McGregor is going to come up on the stage with the lightsaber or like out of the curtains or whatever in his Jedi robe with the like a theme playing unless like they have a composer and they announced it already or something and they give you a little tease at a soundtrack. Or, unless it's just, like, the main force theme. Even though it's basically Luke's theme. And kind of a little bit of Ray's, because it kind of sounds like that. But I kind of think maybe we'll get to see Ewan McGregor with a beard, hopefully. If not, I'm sure everyone will be fine. But, yeah, like, with this Jedi robe, maybe I'm Dennis Lawson. As well, his infamous uncle. On the stage as well. Or somebody, maybe even um, if Frank Oz is alive by then, because I don't know of how old he is, in his 70s or 80s, I'm pretty sure. But maybe he or whoever will be there too. Just like, you know, give you a little insight, talk on um, Obi-Wan, a solo, uh, Obi-Wan, a Star Wars story. Unless they com come up with like something else. But I guarantee it's most likely going to be Obi-Wan, a Star Wars story, sort of like what yeah, Solo is, Solo, a Star Wars story, Rogue One, was just Rogue One, I believe, but, like, at the bottom was a Star Wars story, but, yeah, and I cannot wait to see what the Game of Thrones people do either, I'm a huge Game of Thrones fan, so it's like, what are they gonna do, maybe I'm gonna include Vader, since they do heavy action sequences slash epic battles, maybe I'm Kit Harrington will be in it because apparently he's a huge Star Wars fan and he wants to be in it just because um, I heard Amelia Clark talk about that when somebody from the Star Wars official YouTube channel said that Kit wanted to be in it so maybe like we could see him as a young somebody or maybe in the future too like Kylo Ren if Adam Driver is, is like busy doing something and they get somebody else to play him even though people would probably hate that idea just because these are Kylo Ren slash Ben Solo, obviously. So please like, comment, and subscribe, you guys. And I'll be back whenever I can. Maybe later on tonight or tomorrow sometime before I, you know, go get my nails and stuff done for my birthday. And I'll see you guys whenever I can. Maybe not Friday or something. Bye, guys. May the